Hey, welcome to another session, and this is all about crystals, because this is another area where you get asked a lot of questions. What do I do with crystals? Do I have the right setup? And so what I want to do in this video is talk to you. What do you do with crystals? And there are really two big schools of thought with crystals. Don't put any on until they're maxed out and then use them. The second is put them in your gear as soon as you can. And you can choose which one you want. I'm more in the latter camp. I put them in my gear right away and level them up. It does cost a little bit more gold that way because you have to pay gold to take them out. But at the same time, I'm getting use of those uh, crystals right from the start. And so if it takes you two or three months to level up a crystal, well, two or three months, you're going without those boosts. And it's costing you in terms of your troop lives, because you're doing less damage, incurring more casualties by not having those crystals in your gear. But again, that's a decision everyone makes on their own. So what I'm gonna do in this video is tell you what crystals do, and what crystals to put in what gear, how to level them up, and how to change them. And so, you know, this is not absolute gospel. A lot of people have some different thoughts. Just this is my perspective. People ask me about it, and this is uh, what I tell them, okay? And then as far as the other, other area about, you know, how and when you want to use crystals, again, totally up to you. This is just my point of view. So let's jump into my account, and let's take a look at crystals. So if we go into the blacksmith, and you go into forge just off screen here, Okay, and we'll go over, and you head on down here to your crystals. So these are all of your crystals that you have in your account. And again, you see life, defense, which those are pretty clear what those are, right? Troop life helps preserve the life of your troops. Defense gives you a defensive boost that applies to any of the uh, troops and gear that's applied to. Trap crystals uh, help the effectiveness of your traps. Um, your siege crystal is really, it, it applies to your artillery. So if you have anything to do with artillery and you want to make your artillery really effective, siege crystals are what you want. Uh, range goes with range gear, cavalry with cavalry gear. Crystal of mystery, this is for construction benefits. And so put this on your construction gear. And your crystals of frostbite, which is, this is range and, uh, no, uh, infantry and cavalry. Sorry, get these things confused. And then Flame Blast is uh, range and cav. And then Bandit is range and infantry. And then you have your infantry crystals down here. So first thing I'm going to do is cut off like, okay, so those are the different benefits of the different crystals. And they're all important for the things that you do. The great thing is with gear is you can only put one of these crystals onto each type of gear that you have. And so you can only put one life crystal or one defense or one trap or one siege artillery, etc., on one piece of gear. Now, you can have uh, a life, defense, and siege on one piece of gear. You can have a life, uh, trap, and a range crystal if you want on another piece of gear. But you can't have two range crystals on one piece of gear unless you have like an amplifier crystal and you've got that four slot unlocked. And that's coming for most people down the road, but you have to get that amplifier crystal in order and unlock that four slot. And then you could double up uh, crystals on the same piece of gear. So what do you wanna do with your gear? So here's uh, some of the gear I have and let's go take a look at, okay, schemer, schemer's map. And so an accessory, and what I typically do on my gear is that I will have a attack crystal. So it's cavalry, there's cav attack. I'll have a life crystal and I'll have a defense crystal. And that's what I typically do and put that all on my combat gear. So um, for my um, raider sig pack, I'll have a life, a defense, and infantry attack crystals. Same way with my raider boots. Um, for some other purposeful type equipment like semi-automatic shotgun is my defense piece of gear. What I'll put on that is a trap attack crystal and a defensive crystal and I still have to get around to putting a life crystal on there as well too and so this is just something I use just for defensive setups uh, so I don't really have a attack benefit on it just pure defense and what I'm trying to do is go for biggest troop defense and trap attack benefit that I can get. Okay, So 
when you put these crystals on, uh, once you apply them, to take them off, and you hit the little X to take them off, it costs gold to remove them if you want to save them. You could discard the crystal, which it shatters and you get rid of it and nothing ever comes back, or you can use these different level of tweezers. So to remove a level 6 uh, crystal, it costs 5,000 gold to remove it and saving it. Okay, And so uh, get the appropriate level of tweezer for the removal of the crystal if you ever want to save it. Sometimes there are some crystals on where I don't care if I have it or not, so I just get rid of it, uh, but that is not typical. Um, on my construction gear, uh, again, you can kind of see some of it here. Single-barreled shotgun that I have a crystal of mystery on it, so it gives me a 5% uh, construction speed boost. And so you want to get as many of those on your uh, construction gear as possible. So I have it here on my uh, golden quills. I got a couple of those things, etc. So this is where you ultimately end up with the crystal. Now, how do you level them up? So we'll go back into the crystals in combine area. And we'll use, I, I deconstructed some of these crystals that I have here. We're going to go into life. Um, so the way that you want to think about leveling up crystals, and actually we'll go back to the gear, I'm sorry, go to this gear area, that um, when you're thinking about your sets, typically in your sheriff, you will have, um, you know, seven pieces of gear. So what you're thinking about is you're actually trying to level up eight of a certain type of crystal. So on my range gear, as I was pushing all these range attack crystals up to six, that... Um, I was putting in the highest combination of seven range attack crystals that I could. And now I've got them all up to six, um, but I'm still working. I've got an extra one that's still coming because I might want to go in with the amplifier crystal and add another one on down the road. But I'm doing this also with my defensive gear. So I've got a couple of level sixes. Um, but I'm still working. I've got a five and a five, and I've got other crystals that I'm working uh, beyond that because as I get um, three level fives, I will take this level five off and then put a level six back on. So what you're really trying to do is you're trying to come up with the combination of crystals, so for range attack, where you have the highest um, number of high number range attack crystals on all your gear. So the problem with this, and this is what people get confused on, they'll combine all their crystals and they'll have one six crystal and then they'll have a bunch of one level crystals. And what that does is that gives you a 26% boost and then everything else has a 2% boost. Well, if you were to decompose that level six crystal into four level five crystals, those level five crystals give you a 90% boost. So what you're doing is you're taking 90% uh, range attack boost, you're combining it into a 26% boost crystal for level 6. So you say, like, wow, that doesn't make any sense. Well, it makes sense when you get 7 level 6 crystals. It's awesome. So that's the reason what you're really trying to do is, once you get to, like, for these defense ones, I'm getting to level 6 for uh, almost across the board, that I have a 5 here and a 5 here. I, once I get to 3 level 5 uh, defensive crystals, I'll take this one off, combine it, and put on a level 6. And then in the background, I'll keep working all my defense crystals and combining them until I get another 3 level 5s, and I'll take that level 5 off, combine it, and add on a level tw level 6. And this is the way that you keep moving up your crystals. So let's go in and, and see, okay, how do you combine them? I think most people know how to do this, um, but just the same. We'll go in, and there's on Crystal Combine. So here on Life, um, we are going to just click on it. And so you kind of see the way I have this thing set up right now, that I've got 13, 17, 3, and what I'm going to do is just combine those. And what you want to do is, um, again, if I had 7 pieces of gear, and right now I've got 23 crystals. So I'm like, huh, okay, I'm going to combine those, because now I have... Uh, for in this, I have 20 crystals, and if I want to get to the highest combination of 7, I'll combine it again. Well, that gives me 17, that gives me 13, well, and that gives me now 11, but you know what I can do is I can combine that one, and 
So now I have one, four, and then, you know, for the most part, eight or three of those. If I were to combine that, then I would have one and four. Um, and so I'd only have five, six crystals. Right now I've got one, five, um, eight, nine crystals for seven slots. So that means I could combine this one. And then the way to think about this would be that I'd have one, and that boost is 12%. And then I would have four at 8%, and one at 2%. And that would give me an overall of 2 plus 32 is 34, plus 12 is 46. 46% 46 boost on life. But now if I were to combine those four, so now I have two level fours, and I have one level one. Now my overall boost has gone to, there's two of those at 12 apiece, or 24 plus one is 25. So combining them, I've gone from a 44% boost now to a 25% boost. So it kind of shows you that combining crystals is not the end all be all. What you're trying to do is get to the highest percentage uh, for that um, number of pieces of gear that you have. So for typically you have six or seven pieces of gear, you want to get to the highest percentages of six crystals where you're maxing that total percentage out. Uh, and this here would be my best option with the, these crystals that I have here where I'd get to a 44% boost, two plus eight times um, eight times four, and 12 times one gives me a total of, sorry, 34, 46, 46% 46 boost on troop life for those seven slots, okay? So uh, that just wanted to go through and show that to you, like how do you combine crystals? The other thing you can do is you can decompose them. If you take them off, you can decompose them if you get it wrong. Again, the biggest thing is taking them on and off, it costs gold to do that. But at the same time, if you don't use them, they're not helping you at all. They're not helping you in inventory. So what if you have seven pieces of gear, what you're really trying to do is work eight crystals. Because as soon as you get three of a certain crystal, like so if you had three of these level uh, fours, and you already had a level four on your gear, take that level four off, combine it, and now you get a level five. And then keep working it back up until you have three level fours, take another level four off, combine it to a level five, and then keep doing that till you're all out of level fours. Now all you have is level fives. So then again, then you work it all the way up and get level fives. And three level fives, take a five off, combine it, you get a level six. Now sources of crystals, yes, you can buy them. The other thing you can do is you can do max hits on minions. So uh, especially level five minions, if you do hits of power hits of 40 to 60,000 stamina, and you've got to figure out what's right for your sheriff, then you could get level two and level four crystals in those hits. Uh, so play around with that. That's another source of crystals. There are some times where I'll do a power hit on the level five minions that are blue, the extra special ones, and I'll get four level four crystals, which is a level five crystal. Uh, and that's a really great thing because that's typically two $99 packs sometimes to get two level four crystals. Um, so it usually costs a chunk of gold to do those power hits, but they can be worth it, especially uh, when you're doing it in competitions or just uh, uh, saving your stamina up on your sheriff. Go ahead and do a power hit uh, with you know the 40,000 stamina that you have. Add some to it and see what what it takes to get crystals out of those level four and level five minions. Level six minions as well uh, definitely give off crystals. Okay, so if you have any questions on crystals, let me know. Hopefully this is helpful. Bye.